Hi, my name is Brian, and today I'm going to do a small video on how to put holes in sandpaper. So, um, it's really nice when sandpaper has holes like this, and I'll do a close up here. And um, unfortunately, for whatever reason, sometimes it doesn't come this way. Um, in the case of what I'm working with today, I'm using an Alico sander that's sold on Amazon. It's used for drywall. It's about a $150 tool. It, it works fantastic, but it only comes with like seven pieces of sandpaper. Um, and, uh, you know, sandpaper wears out. It's consumable. And for whatever reason, the replacement sandpaper doesn't come with any holes in it. So I'm going to show you how to put holes in the sandpaper. And you can actually take a, a, a couple of pieces. So I'm going to actually do this to two of them at a time. I'll set those over there out of the way. And uh, for this, you need a uh, punch set like this. So uh, I've got this hollow punch set. And this is sold on Amazon for about $10. Um, you know, it's typical made in China. Um, it actually works pretty good. So we, in this particular case, I want the half inch um, die. And then you need a hammer, a piece of sheetrock, or I'm sorry, a piece of sandpaper that already has the holes in it where you want them. And then you need a work surface. And I recommend that you use a piece of scrap plywood because you're going to put divots in the plywood and it's gonna screw it up. So the first thing you do is you line up all your pieces. And then you start punching them. And what this will do is this will cut a hole and move this. It will cut a hole here and you can kind of see this here in the close-up camera and it it contains the little pieces inside the punch and so you just go around and knock all the holes out. And you wind up with some little bits. There's also a bunch of little bits stuck inside here. And what you now have are two pieces of sandpaper that have the holes in them. And so this is a great way to um, get sandpaper with holes if it's not made or um, to save some money. Sometimes you might want a special grade of sandpaper that they don't stock in stores in, in the size that you need it and uh, with the holes in it. And, uh, you know, if you had to lay this out by hand, I suppose it's possible, but it's really easier to just copy an existing piece. And almost every tool comes with uh, sandpaper. And if, if your old sandpaper was worn out, uh, this would still work because you're just using it to position the, the punch. So um, thanks for watching, and I hope this video was helpful.